Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got square hued La China and I'm going to stamp over it. I've started off with Danny Digits, Glitter Be Gone. And I am going to put that on all of my nails. It's going to be like my base. Love me a peel off face coat and this one's a really good one. Making sure to cap my end. My tip. And I did let this dry down all the way before I paint. And here is the square hue, the china. And we are going to get this on all of my nails. It's a beautiful polish. Um, it does have like a shimmer in it that's just gorgeous, but it kind of disappears on the nail a little bit. And it really didn't help that I <laughs> stamped over it and covered a lot of it up. But we can do. Uh, try, to, try to enjoy it for what it is. Trying to get over close to my sidewall and out of frame, but I am capping my end. <laughs> a little blurry thing going on. Try to straighten that out. Here we go. We're going to go in for a second coat of the La China. formula on this one was just awesome. And out of frame again, capping the end. And I'm going to go ahead and do a third coat, which I normally don't do. You guys don't see me go in for third coats very often, but I was doing thin coats on this, so I decided I would go ahead and do one more. And it wasn't too painful because the formula was really good, so... That's always appreciated. Now I'm going to top this off with some pure ice, Girl on the Run. Get it to dry down real well so that I've got a nice base to start my stamping on. And I'm capping the end, of course, with that too. Got to get my orange wood stick after it. Here is what the china looks like. I don't know if you're going to get to see any of that flash of the shimmer, but here it is all by itself. It's very pretty polish. And we're going to stamp with this Wistonia W302. I'm just going to use this little, I don't know, leafy looking, swirly looking image. I've got my purple uh, born pretty polish. It's kind of a I don't know, it's a soft purple. It's almost a pastel, I guess. And it doesn't really show up pastel over the red, but it kind of looks like gray. And I'm okay with that. I thought it looked pretty. So we're going to plop this image on my nails. And everything's picking up really nice. I'm using my generic Big Bling Clear Stamper. I'm liking it. I've done a little bit of cleanup, and I'm going to do a little bit more here on camera for you. Didn't make too bad of a mess, and that polish cleaned up really well. I used tape for most of it, but then I had to go in with my brush. And we're going to top this one off with pure ice, curl on the run. Seal that design all in. Oh, wait a minute, I'm seeing a little bit of the flash. Yay! It was really visible in real life especially in the sun. It was very, very pretty. But like I said, I covered it up with a lot of stamping, so a little harder to pick up on it. I'll cap that in. Ta-da! And break the orange wood stick out again. Because you guys know I'm a ninny and i got to have my orange wood stick fixed. smooth all and I really overall I was happy with this one it's um, probably not a spring design but that's okay I kind of dance to my own drum and do what I want when I want no matter what season I know a lot of us are like that get this last one covered and we will be done 
like I said, I really did end up liking this one and will, you know, definitely use this base color again. Kind of break out of my mold of doing the black and white and gold all the time. So here it is. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.